Hello everyone, welcome to the session continuing with the trend of essential VARC concepts. Today we are going to look at the concepts for para jumbles or para formation questions. Uh, one, this is one of those areas which no matter how much practice you do, no matter how many questions you answer, still somewhere at the back of your mind, you always have this need or this requirement to get better at it. You still feel that, you know, you could do better. Your accuracy could get, you know, could become better. And there's always that, you know, that need to kind of understand that, why is this pair not made? Why are two made, but it doesn't make one? Three is made, but the answer is made, two, three is made. So these are those minor doubts that I'm sure that all of you have been, uh, that all of you face. And uh, that is why, guys, it's very important to go back to the drawing board sometimes because we have uh, become so used to, you know, since CAT 2020 is right around the corner, we've become so used to practice, practice, practice all the time that, uh, with you know, from my personal observation, what I'm seeing students uh, do and make mistakes is that they are not focusing on the concepts anymore. They are not focusing on the basics anymore. You have forgotten the basics or you're just not focusing on it anymore. And that's why that one thing, that one subset is not working out. So guys, it's very important to revise the concepts for CAT 2020 aspirants and for CAT 2021 aspirants. Guys, this session is going to be very crucial for all of you because the essential concepts, right? We are laying down the foundation. So come on, some of you have to come back to the drawing board and some of you laying down the foundation. So this session is important for 2020 aspirants and 2021 aspirants. So don't miss out guys. Everything that is need, the, that there is a need to know of, you know, when it comes to para jumbles or uh, sequencing, selection of opening sentences, language, logic, everything will be answered here. So come on, let's begin the session. So guys, those who have not subscribed to the channel already, do subscribe. Check out the playlist of the channel, guys, and you will understand the quality, the content, and the coverage. So every single topic, be it LR, DI, quantitative aptitude, verbal reasoning, uh, general knowledge, everything has been covered by the best of educators. And there are a lot of strategy videos, a lot of interesting content as well. So please check it out, attend the live sessions, view the previous sessions and subscribe to the channel. Our agenda for today include para jumbles, logic clues and language clues. Those who are not already a part of the VRC prep group. What are you waiting for? Quickly join in guys, the telegram group unacademy underscore Ritu Dudhoria for all VARC questions updates session links guidance pdfs notes support from your friends everything on the group unacademy underscore to so subscribe immediately guys if you haven't already done so and what is very crucial right now is to take the unacademy plus subscription those who are not yet taken the plus subscription guys you have to understand the benefit you have to understand the need and the requirement learning from the best educators spread across the country, learning, getting the best material, complete coverage, flexibility to watch the sessions right from the comfort of your homes, flexibility to watch it according to the timing, your convenience, every single thing, mocks, sectionals, free classes, strategy sessions, all of it, one-time subscription, Unacademy plus subscription, one-time subscription access to all areas, be it LR, Quants, DI, VA, RC, all the educators, all the mocks, all the sectionals, all the strategy sessions for all management exams. So basically for all, you need to subscribe to plus. So guys, consider taking the plus subscription immediately and use the code Ritu MBA to get 10% off. Koi or code ne, guys, only Ritu MBA. My name and your goal, Ritu MBA right so attend the free live special classes guys on the unacademy learning app watch out my previous plus courses reading comprehension critical reasoning para summary para jumbles odd one out and also enroll for the current course which is an all areas advanced practice course the ultimate course when it comes to cat 2020 vrc preparation okay so looking forward to see all of you on plus cat 2021 batches as well starting out soon so what are you waiting for guys subscribe to plus using the code ritu mba come on let's begin with our session now when it comes to para jumbles uh this slide is sort of redundant because you all know the importance of para jumbles and that's why i'm sure that all of you have already tried out several questions on para jumbles this is one of those areas where most of the doubts guys most of the doubts come in is either in para jumbles or 
लॉजिकल एनालिसिस लैंग्वेज एनालिसिस सो ये क्वेश्चन को जब हम करते हैं तो लॉजिक के हिसाब से करना चाहिए और लैंग्वेज के हिसाब से भी करना चाहिए now one very very important uh, see guys you have to learn you know when when there is an educator when there is a mentor who teaches you there is also something that we gain from you know seeing various students falter various students you know the doubts that they come in so i am going to help you out with this so that you don't make the same mistake again and again so whatever i have noticed till now the doubts that have come in is because students don't find the proper balance between logic and language and more than that they focus only on logic आप लोग सोचते हो कि पैरा जम्बल लॉजिक से कर लेंगे अरेंज कर लेंगे बट गाइज वन थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर द लॉजिक क्लूज विल गो थ्रू इट बट लॉजिक इज सब्जेक्टिव यू नो गाइज जनरली वी से ठीक है कॉज पहले आता है इफेक्ट बाद में आता है बट देर हैव बीन केसेज वेर इफेक्ट कम फर्स्ट एंड कॉज इज अरेंज लेटर इज वेल सो लॉजिक yes it is it is important to catch it it is important to focus on it but i i sometimes logic becomes subjective it's not objective but jo language hai jo language hai wo aapka saath kabhi nahi chhodega so you have to focus on language clues more importantly whenever you read a question guys categorization according to logic is important but first trust me this is the, you you might not have caught upon this yet but trust me the reason why you're going wrong and the reason why wo ek pairing nahi ban raha hai ya wo ek order nahi aa raha hai ya ek sentence chhuta ja raha hai is because you're just not focusing on language you're not focusing on pronouns you're not focusing on the noun links or language mein points hi kitne hain so guys it's not like you have to know the entire grammar in order to answer language clues no you will see zyada you know maximum guys four to five points hai language mein jo aapko yaad rakhne hain so come on let's see which are these pointers guys and let's see how do we understand and analyze these questions come on so let's first have a look at the logical uh, clues so when it comes to logical clues guys it's very important to understand ki paragraph ka flow kaise hota hai so there are four types of para flows they are general essay type personal essay type comparative type and narrative type now what are these paragraph flows when an author writes uh you know these are lifted from articles these are lifted you know these questions come from journals and articles and uh you know newspapers and magazines and all of these are written by someone now when a person writes the purpose of writing is not to confuse the audience aap log bolte ho are ye para jumble to bahut confusing tha ye bahut hi tricky tha but the purpose why the para jumble has been written is not to confuse the purpose why the article was written is not to confuse you it is to explain a point why does it become confusing is because the way it has been broken up and jumbled that is what is confusing to wo jumble ko unjumble karne ke liye aapko pehle sochna padega ki how does an author write an article there are four ways or there are mainly four types of articles or four types of paragraph structures the most common one is called as the general essay type what is general essay type it is what we call as the inverted triangle model as you can see from the pictorial representation ye yaad rakh lo you will never forget it so most of the questions almost 75% of the questions are of the general essay type the author starts with the, and we will see this with the examples today as well so the author starts with a broad statement he starts with a general statement when i say broad statement i don't mean the lengthy statement jo sabse lamba chauda hai wo nahi broad statement means broad according to the concept broad according to the subject or broad according to the context what is context context essentially means place and time so if there is one sentence which talks about a century 100 years that is going to come before a statement which talks about a decade century decade se bada hota hai so it's more general there is one statement which talks about the world and there's another statement which talks about japan world is going to be put before japan but see again zaruri nahi hai har time because law language is paramount hai na but most of the times guys when you're selecting the opening sentence this basically these paragraph flows help us to select our opening sentences and also decide the flow later on so start with the broadest statement which introduces the topic now the opening sentence that you take or the general statement that you take it must set the tone for the rest of the passage it must set the tone every sentence either adds to it or contributes to it or takes away from it in some way 
it sets the theme it sets the subject it sets the concept of the passage and then what you can flow into is the specifics or the details so you start with the broadest statement millions of people the most seemingly general statement which sets the tone for the rest of the passage and then you 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 know you come down to the specifics so ye ho jata hai hamara general essay type for example you start with global recession you talk about its impact on india and in india you talk about the impact on the automobile sector so we have gone from broad to specific pehle aapne topic introduce kar diya fir aapne uska specifications de diya so this is called as the general essay type now the reverse of this is called as the personal essay type which is very rare now generally when you come across a personal essay type the author either starts with an example yes you can start with an example and oh my god there are a lot of myths associated with para jumbles that we have to debunk as well a paragraph cannot start with because who said it can't start with but it can't start with yet today i'm going to show you a para jumble which can start with however also so guys these are all myths that you have to debunk if someone tells you this you have to tell no this is wrong you know you have to rely on we'll talk about this when it comes to language clues guys but please remember do not blindly eliminate your are ye to opening sentence ho nahi sakta isme this hai ye opening sentence ho nahi sakta isme but hai depend karta hai the language how it's framed is very important see you have to understand that you're not children na matlab humko cat level tak aana hai humko advanced level tak aana hai so humko thodi si language ki structure ki samajh honi chahiye so that is exactly where a lot of you have been going wrong and what we're going to set it right nothing much guys it's not rocket science ultimately it's easy it's a nice question it's an easy question type which you should attempt also today we'll also look at which are the kind of para jumbles that you should attempt that you shouldn't miss out on and which are the para jumbles that you can skip uh you know in order to maintain your accuracy so personal essay type mein kya hota hai the author starts with a personal issue or he starts with an example uh, i recently went on a trip and i observed this uh you start with a specific example so for example uh, lately in american elections it was observed that then you say this is not just in america but all around the world then you come general now personal zaruri nahi hai ki personal matlab author ka personal ho no when i say personal let's say you start with something specific and then you move on to a general note okay this is not just in america but it is found everywhere recently company x has been facing a lot of issue considering covid 19 then you say this is not just the fate of company x but there are several other companies which have been facing a similar fate so aap start karte ho company x se par aap end karte ho general note pe so this is called as a personal essay type so categorization is very important poor management of local beaches to fir aap uthate ho abhi main goa gaya tha wahan pe maine dekha ki kuch beaches bahut sundar hai par to thodi si management ki problem hai then you say this is not just a problem with beaches in goa but it exists everywhere and there's a problem of safety or uh, you know not just for humans for marine animals and all of this and then you say that there is a need for action so you start with a micro issue and you go macro okay so this is called as your personal essay type both are opposites ye seedha triangle tha wo inverted triangle tha next comes comparative essay type what is comparative essay type let's say the author is comparing two types of chalo the author is comparing two types of farming so in the first sentence he is obviously going to tell us what he is be what he is comparing so this is comparison of traditional farming organic farming he is going to introduce what is being compared फिर आएगा रिलेटिव मेरिट्स एंड डी मेरिट्स नाउ व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोटिस ओवर हियर इज कि पहले आप किसके मेरिट्स दोगे फर्स्ट मेरिट्स किसके फर्स्ट डी मेरिट्स किसके डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द ऑर्डर इन द ओपनिंग सेंटेंस सो इफ ट्रेडिशनल फार्मिंग हैज बीन स्पोकन अबाउट फर्स्ट द ऑथर इज गोइंग टू गिव द मेरिट्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल फार्मिंग फर्स्ट देन द ऑथर इज गोइंग टू कम एंड टॉक अबाउट ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग दीज आर द स्मॉलर डिटेल्स दीज आर द फाइनर डिटेल्स व्हिच यू हैव टू कैच ऑन ठीक है ये आपको कोई कहीं रिटर्न नहीं है कोई बताएगा नहीं सिवाय यू नो इन दिस वीडियो बट यू प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस कि गो अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑर्डर इन द ओपनिंग सेंटेंस अनलेस लैंग्वेज कुछ नया खेल खेल जाए अपना वरना लॉजिकली वॉट एवर इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड फर्स्ट विल बी स्पोकन अबाउट फर्स्ट वॉट एवर इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड नेक्स्ट उसके बारे में हम बाद में बात करेंगे एंड देन यू गिव अ जजमेंट विच इज बेटर a result or a judgment. Now why are these structures important? Immediately when you see that there is a comparison. you see that there is a comparison start arranging it according to the comparison so what is being compared how it's being compared what are the relative merits and demerits and then finally give the result or the judgment 
clear okay let's have a look at the next one the narrative type now if you get the narrative type you should be very happy there should be a broad smile which should come on your face why what is narrative type narrative type is basically a story narrative type is basically arranging according to events how the events have occurred arranging according to chronological order chronological order kya hai time sequence so generally historical passages follow the chronological order generally historical passages ko hum story type mein arrange karenge dates ke basis pe arrange karenge past present and future but one thing that you have to remember over here is you cannot go past and then come present and then go past and then come present so these are the kind of you know khichdis or these are the kind of sandwich usages that we have to try and avoid as much as possible so dates jahan pe hai chronological order and guys please make sure that you know the meaning of your centuries and all of that correctly uh, this i've seen in a lot of students so i'm pointing it out here matlab agar bola gaya hai 20th century और अगर एक ऑप्शन दे रहा है ओके वन ऑप्शन लेट्स से इट सेज ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी एंड चलो आई टेक अ डिफरेंट एग्जांपल थोड़ा सा डेटेड लेते हैं वन एग्जांपल से वन सेंटेंस सेज फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी एंड दी अदर वन सेज लेट्स से फोर्टीन हंड्रेड ओके विच इज विच इज बिफोर विच इज लेटर विच इज बिफोर विच इज लेटर फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी डज नॉट मीन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड 15th century मतलब 1400s को ही आप 15th century बोलोगे अभी हम लोग कौन से सेंचुरी में ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी में तो थोड़ा सा मीनिंग वो कैबलरी ऑल ऑफ दस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज वेल सो ये हो गया हमारा नरेटिव टाइप बट मेनली गाइज वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू फोकस ऑन इन लॉजिक इज दिस काइंड ऑफ कैटेगराइजेशन वॉट इज दिस वेन एवर यूर रीडिंग अ पैरा जम्बल क्वेश्चन वेन एवर यूर रीडिंग एवरी सेंटेंस स्टार्ट कैटेगराइजिंग इट हाउ डू यू कैटेगराइज इट रीड अ सेंटेंस This is a problem. This is a solution. Q Q categorize करना है क्योंकि solution last में आएगा. Problem before आएगा. ये question है. कैसा question है? Question है जिसका answer दिया है या rhetorical question है. What is a rhetorical question for which the answer is not given? The question is given in order to persuade the readers. Your friend is running late. You tell your friend, do you know what time it is? You don't want your tell you you don't want your friend to tell you अरे छह बजे हैं. no that that you basically implying that your friend is late so rhetorical questions end the passage but general questions are followed by answers data hai explanation hai cause hai definition hai quotation hai term introduced hua hai story hai past hai present hai whenever you read a para jumble question please start categorizing it if you're not doing it basic mein karte the aap log pehle jab you have come to the advanced level you have stopped doing it no guys this is something that i want you to start doing start categorizing positives negatives statement example general specific problem solution past present future categorization is crucial only then these para flows will work if you are not categorizing into past present and future chronological order kaise baithega If you're not categorizing according to definition and then elaboration, general essay type कैसे बैठेगा? If you're not categorizing according to data and then inference, general essay type कैसे बैठेगा? Problem and solution. So very important to categorize the statements. Okay, so this is when it comes to logical analysis. This is very important, guys. Logic analysis हमने देख लिया. अब language analysis देखते हैं. लैंग्वेज एनालिसिस में mainly हमको ये इन बातों इन बातों पे focus करना है. एक तो nouns पे focus करना है. एक प्रोनाउंस पे फोकस करना है एक एडजेक्टिव्स पे फोकस करना है ओके सो नाउंस प्रोनाउंस एडजेक्टिव्स फिर उसके बाद हमको फोकस करना है टेंस स्ट्रक्चर पे बिकॉज दिस विल हेल्प अस इन पास प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर सिंगुलर प्लूरल पे तो अरे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फोकस एंड मोस्ट ऑफ यू दो बीन वॉचिंग दिस विडियो दो बीन वॉचिंग आर माई सेशन एंड बीन विथ मी थ्रू आउट दिस इंटायर कैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्रिपरेशन जर्नी यू अंडरस्टूड कि सिंगुलर प्लूरल में आप लोग बहुत टाइम ओवरसाइट कर जाते हो और मिस्टेक्स करते हो यू शुड रिमेम्बर पंक्चुएशन विच आर ऑल्सो वेरी क्रूशल बिकॉज दे हेल्प अस टू कैटेगराइज स्टेटमेंट करेक्टली सो नाउंस प्रोनाउंस एडजेक्टिव टेंसेस सिंगुलर प्लूरल एंड पंक्चुएशन बट नॉट लाइक द होल होल टॉपिक बट थोड़े पॉइंट सो वॉट आर दोज पॉइंट रिमेम्बर गाइज की ऑब्वियसली नाउन कम्स बिफोर अ प्रोनाउन बट If there is no noun, then a passage can start with pronoun as well. You can start a passage with a statement which says this year. 
if there is no option which gives you the name of which mentions the year let's say 2020 2020 agar 2020 20 mention hai then 2020 will come before this year but if 2020 is not mentioned you can start a passage or a paragraph with this year noun should come before pronoun provided that there is a noun and yahan pe singular plural is very important please remember that you're linking singular nouns with singular pronouns and you're linking plural nouns with plural pronouns for example if it is given this space this you cannot link it with a statement which says spaces something that we just looked at yesterday these plural link the right form singular ko singular se india ko it se indians ko we se singular noun with singular pronoun plural noun with plural pronoun the full name will come before the name and pronoun so charles miller will come before miller and then he mark twain twain he full form before short form or abbreviation united nations will come before un rem will come so guys please remember these little little details so jab aap passage pad rahe ho immediately when you come across a pronoun focus on it you come across a short form focus on it you so the first step when you read the sentences as well is to is to, before looking at logic see how many grammar clues are there articles the a and an now generally you start with general sentence first so a is general then the but that does not mean that you cannot start a paragraph with the you can my my point is if there is an a and a the for the same noun a research the study same noun ke liye then you put the a first and you put the the but that does not mean you cannot start a passage with the obviously you can guys there are no this and that's you can the only thing is if there is a general first then you put the general and then you come to the specific adjectives this is one of those hidden you know chupa rustams which get as a right answer and not a lot of people focus on consumers have little difficulty in adjusting to the new age of better products governments find change harder harder than whom harder than consumers to pehle positive degree aayega fir comparative degree aayega pehle consumers ka point aayega fir government ka point aayega so singular noun with singular pronoun plural noun with plural pronoun a uh, general article before specific article then you have to remember full form before short form positive degree then comparative degree and then superlative degree right simple points simple points guys but you have to make use of it okay remember these indicators guys uh, group join karo ye ppt aapko group pe mil jayegi these are the general words which are used for indicators jab bhi conjunctions aate hain focus karo immediately when you see however but yet focus on it why because after however if there is a positive sentence before however there needs to be a negative sentence similarly ke baad agar positive sentence hai to similarly ke pehle bhi positive sentence aana chahiye conclusion does not mean the conclusion of the whole para conclusion of an idea therefore focus in fact इन अदर वर्ड्स इन सब चीजों का मतलब क्या है वाई हेज दू यूज दिस इन अदर वर्ड वी हैड अ लुक एट इट इन वन ऑफ आर सेशन इन अदर वर्ड्स का मतलब क्या है क्लैरिटी देना रिस्टेटमेंट करना सो हर एक फ्रेज का मतलब क्या है दीज आर दिंग्स वी शुड स्टार्ट पिकिंग अप वी हैव टू स्टार्ट पिकिंग अप ऑन कंजंक्शन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट पिकिंग अप ऑन कनेक्टर्स वी हैव टू स्टार्ट पिकिंग अप ऑन फुल फॉर्म्स शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स we have to start picking up on every single grammatical point of course in fact in other words so all of these grammatical clues are going to lead you to the right answer so these are very very crucial indicators that we have to pick up help you to arrange in chronological order help you to connect or build pairs kaise sentences link karne hai positive positive ko ek sath negative negative ko ek sath cause and effect ko ek sath that is why categorization becomes important so all of this works together you cannot look at it singularly it all works together it all works hand in hand okay so focus on these guys now there are certain clues that i want to tell you uh, don't just link similar words i would say link ideas zaruri nahi hai trump trump diya hai to sath mein laga do no link similar ideas as far as possible words can deceive but the thought or the idea does not 
इवन इफ यू फील की ये पैरा जम्बल यू नो कॉमन टर्म विद स्टूडेंट यूज इज बाउंसर जा रहा है बाउंसर जा रहा है सिर के ऊपर से चला गया Didn't understand. It's okay, guys. That's what I'm saying. Language is important. अगर आपको passage समझ में नहीं आ रहा है अगर आपको para jumble का theme इतना समझ में नहीं आया words, you know, the idea इतना समझ में नहीं आया still, these connectors, these language clues are what is going to help you and save you. Idioms and proverbs come at the beginning or at the end. Idioms, proverbs, general quotations, rhetorical questions. You know, you mention a proverb, then you explain the significance of it. So proverb से आप शुरुआत करते हो, अरे, you know, all that glitters is not gold, and then you explain how is it relevant. तो या तो beginning में आएगा, या तो end में आएगा. Now punctuations are also very important, especially the usage of the dash and the quotations. So for example, the author says, चलो, let's have a, let's say, the author says this is called upwelling. What is upwelling? The author uses a dash and gives the meaning. So, ये आपको पता चल गया ये definition है. Dash दिया जा सकता है, colon दिया जा सकता है. When the author uses the word western in quotes, one sentence uses the word western in quotes. The other sentence just uses the western without quotes. Quotations are going to come before normal usage because यहाँ पे term coin हुआ है, यहाँ पे term introduce हुआ है. So quotations पे focus करो. डैशेस पे फोकस करो दे टेल अस हाउ टू अरेंज द सेंटेंसेस टुगेदर ओके फोकस ऑन सेमी कोलन सो व्हेन वी डू अ सेंटेंस ऑन पंक्चुएशन व्हेन वी डू अ क्लास ऑन पंक्चुएशंस ऑल ऑफ दिस विल बिकम वेरी लूसिड सेमी कोलन कैसे व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ सेमी कोलन इट कैन इंट्रोड्यूस अ कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन फॉर एग्जांपल टू अर इज ह्यूमन टू फॉरगिव डिवाइन तो अर इज ह्यूमन मिस्टेक करना इंसानी बात है फोगिव डिवाइन कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन आ गया यहाँ पे ये नेगेटिव था ये पॉजिटिव था बट वेर एज के जगह सेमी कोलिन लगा दिया सो कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन विच काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंसेस आर वी लिंकिंग टुगेदर सो फोकस ऑन लैंग्वेज क्लूज एंड दीज काइंड ऑफ लॉजिकल कैटेगराइजेशन सो आर्टिकल्स भूलना मत प्रोनाउंस नाउंस भूलना मत सिंगुलर प्लूरल भूलना मत And idioms, proverbs, and punctuations. Ko to khas kar, do not forget it. Okay, guys, come on. So now let's put all of these rules into practice. So this is the first question on your screen, everyone. Go ahead, try this out, and then we will discuss it. Dikte who gets it right? Come on. First question on your screen. Fada fad, guys. Come on, everyone. Quickly. Come on, guys. Para jumbles very very crucial area. As far as possible, mistakes avoid करने हैं. Come on, everyone. Always pick that those para jumbles which have a lot of logic language clues. So this is an ideal para jumble that it should that you should put. जितने लैंग्वेज क्लूज मिले वो पैरा जम्बल सिलेक्ट करना वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट कम ऑन कम ऑन एवरी वन Four sentence para jumble, very crucial. Okay, come on, let's understand this. So now, general process, your student, your आपके mindset पे आ रहा होगा, is how do we proceed with this and how do we select an opening sentence? Uh, one tip that I want to give you here is, if you feel that two sentences are grammatically possible opening sentences, do not pick one. As far as possible opening sentence is not important, picking an opening sentence is not even that important. Building subsets, building pairs, right sequencing is more important. Now, if you look at this guy, see. 
it was worthwhile to speak out upon certain matters in an essay it was worthwhile so this is talking about the past see the categorization and there was nothing absurd in writing as well as one possibly could in a month or two the same public which had welcomed the essay in a magazine would carefully read it once more in a book ab itna samajh mein nahi aaya chalo par fir bhi humko pata chal gaya ki this is about the past however much they differ individually the victorian essays yet had something in common this is talking about victorian essays now you will say however hai ye opening sentence nahi ho sakta but a change came from a small audience of cultivated people to a larger change came change from a previous situation a new change has come in so this is talking about a new situation change in what but again opening sentence doubtful they wrote at length who are these they again doubtful so ye problem ho jata hai guys now understand this debunk certain myths because yet but however all of these can begin your passage depends upon the sentence yes the opening sentence is two here understand the pattern here everyone however much they differ individually the victorian essays yet had something in common jo contradiction hai wo same sentence mein aa gaya differed and they had something in common however ka basic purpose contradiction hai however much they differ they had something in common so difference or common jo contradiction ke liye however use hua hai that contradiction has come in the same sentence done the purpose of however is accomplished this is an independent sentence it's not grammatically dependent on any other sentence it can be your opening sentence just because it starts with a however does not mean that it cannot be your opening sentence so these are the myths myths that you have to debunk okay now let's build links forget the opening sentence suppose mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha opening sentence kaun sa hoga i will build links so this wherever you find these grammatical clues it's very important to start with such paragraphs so let's take a pronoun they wrote at length who are these they they means plural people they wrote plural people which option talks about plural people a public but public will not write victorian essayists audience audience will not write so victorian essayists so i know that 2 and 4 are linked to ek pair ban gaya grammatically by only focusing on the word they they wrote so see the they had something in common they wrote at length greater length than is now usual they wrote all past for a public which had not only time to sit down to its magazine seriously but a high peculiar victorian standard of culture by which to judge it so theek hai two four link ban gaya this is about the past which other sentence talks about the past one ye humne categorize kiya tha as past it was worthwhile to speak out upon serious matters a change came yahan pe see same public same public matlab small audience change came from a small audience of cultivated people to a larger audience of people quite not so cultivated pehle the people were very you know small and cultivated same public welcomed the essay would carefully read it once more in a book reading it carefully analyzing it judging it cultivated people so one and then talk about the change so 2413 so two talks about victorian essays victorian essays can be easily linked to they so two four it link ban gaya direct link ban gaya one and three can also be linked to each other how one and three can be linked to each other because one talks about the earlier situation and three talks about the change which came in so your order is 2413 very important question to debunk the myth ki however cannot be your opening sentence got it everyone so very very crucial inputs guys please focus on these inputs right come on let's take up uh, one more question for today uh dekhte hain kaun sa chalo let's take up this question come on everyone try the question arrange it come on everyone go ahead arrange it guys come on everyone question 2 on your screen come on guys focus on categorization 
focus on building links. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, everyone. Build links. Always select those questions which have a lot of connectors, which have a lot of grammatical clues. Come on. Okay, so I hope that you're done with this question. Okay, let's discuss the order, guys. Okay, come on, let's discuss this. So, see, the order over here is 3, 5. Okay, wait, we'll solve it together and then we'll arrive at the order. Chalo, let's see how you should attempt a question. The big difference now, difference now, now difference from a previous situation. So this cannot be my opening sentence is that the Trump administration has elevated the systematic use of trade tariffs and sanctions as an instrument of coercion force to a doctrine governing the way America deals with adversaries or friends and allies. Okay, this talks about Trump administration. This talks about America. This talks about tariffs and sanctions. It talks about now. Of course, countries, this is America, this is countries, have been using trade as a weapon or as a negotiating tool to twist arms in the past, but this was on an ad hoc basis. This was, but this is talking about the past. The new international, the new international buzz concept, which is creating a hype, is the weaponization of trade. So use of trade as a weapon using trade as a weapon, weaponization of trade. So this is more like a conceptual statement. This looks like a concept. But the fact is that the very notion, but of friend or allied country is completely alien. This is talking about a friend or ally wala part, which was explained in one as well. And this is the stuff nightmares are made of. This is the stuff and negative sentence is bhi negative. This is the stuff. What is the stuff? Nightmares are made of for business executives and political leaders. What is that stuff? So come on, let's start building links. Now, guys, I can definitely say that one and four will come together because it's talking about the American point of view. It's talking about these adversaries of friend point of view. It's talking about America's strategy or use of trade tariffs and sanctions. So, 1 and 4 is set. Okay. At the same time, I know that 1 and 4 is specific only to America. Whereas 2 is broader. 3 is broader. 4 is broader. Political leaders, not just America. So, I also know that uh, 2, 3 and 5 are going to come before 1 and 4. Right. Now, the only concept is how do I arrange this 2, 3 and 5? Which is your opening sentence? Which one introduces the concept or sets the tone for the rest of the paragraph? 3. So, the new international bus concept is the weaponization of trade. So, what is weaponization of trade? Now, 3. Okay, I'm going to start with 3. The big difference now, big difference now from the past. So, I can say that 2 and 1 are linked to each other. 2 says countries have been using it, but the difference now is okay. How it's changed now. So 2 and 1 are linked to each other. The only statement which is causing that worry is 5. This is the stuff nightmares are made of. What is the stuff? What is the stuff? Think nightmares. This introduces a negative angle. Come on. Which option gives us? Which option gives us the negative angle? This is the stuff that nightmares are made up of. 
what is the stuff that nightmares are made up of this weaponization of dream so three five two one four let's understand this again from a different angle the big difference now they have been using it the big difference now two and one are linked to each other one and four are linked to each other because of america three is going to be my opener because it talks about weaponization of trades clean this is the stuff nightmares are made up of for business executives and political leaders political leaders this is a subset which i cannot break this is my opener where will five come correct so political leaders that's why trump is explained later so five comes here so your order is three five two one four simple and clean all through categorization and mainly guys both the questions we have answered purely through language clues so whenever you get questions based on language clues attempt it and ace it and you will be able to achieve it within the time frame so very crucial to focus on such kinds of questions right so hope this was helpful to all of you we can try out the future you know the other questions in our future classes so please watch out this space for more take the unacademy plus subscription learn the concepts guys learn the basics because they are very crucial you will find in the essential vrc concept series you will also find i'm going to you know there's going to be a video on the uh, odd one out concepts as well go through them para jumbles go through them para completion para summary jitne bhi areas ke essential concepts hai go through them on the same channel subscribe like press the share button and take the subscription only using the code ritu mba see you in the special classes see you in the live youtube classes and more importantly see you on plus code ritu mba take care everyone bye bye like share subscribe and see you all soon